Hello guys, Mohli back in with another new video and today I have another new product that is basically a headless CMS open source. But this is nothing like the previous one that I have shared already that is Keystone JS, which you don't have to host separately but it will include into your next JS project. Okay. But here uh, in today's uh, Oh, CMS, headless CMS in open source headless CMS. You actually have to host it yourself in the normal, regular way, like everyone hosts apps. Actually, there is no normal way of hosting apps. Basically, you have to like deploy it uh, somewhere in the cloud. <coughs> it will not work working for some. Okay, so that's the thing. Now, uh, let me go to the site and let us discuss more about it because I have really something more to discuss about it because there are certain similarities with some other uh, apps as well, like apps means CMSs as well, in terms of its uh, what work workings and workflow how it's maintaining all of those things and all so let me just get started and let's see what we have today so here is our today's uh headless cms that is contemporary now what i feel is this is like almost similar to strappy now what is strappy strappy is another headless cms but strappy is little bit advanced little bit complex and like it have a lot more power to be honest that i also don't understand properly that's why i haven't shared it till now but maybe when i get it totally i will share it but let's not talk about it let's talk about contemporary so what I feel like they are more like Strappy, but a little bit easier. Okay. So first of all, this is open source headless CMS and gives you full control in the admin interface. Okay. And you can have the GraphQL API. So this is something uh, you should notice. No REST APIs, but GraphQL APIs. Sorry for yawning uh role based access control obviously that is important in any kind of cmss uh, and authentication well structured postgres database stuff. i love this about this uh, particular web particular uh, cms that is it's using postgres though it should have given option to use like whichever database you want to use like if you are into sql language go for any sql database that you would like if, if they have provided that option that would be much more like a flexible okay okay but rather than that as you can see here like it it is seriously to be honest a lot more simpler here you can see in the example it has a one page one new page forms and that's it wait uh let's okay wait 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 it doesn't have any other uh demo screenshots that's why i'm not able to show you that there but yeah let's see here so it has this page new page forms and the inciting general navigation is so it is easily creating all of those like in strafi if you see the uh, uh dashboard there's a lot of thing, lot of customization that you can do and a lot of connection, but nothing is available over here. This is more simpler. And what I would suggest if you have a simpler project, if you have a tight deadline, like, when, like if you have simple needs, why don't you would like to use a simple tool, right? So I would say this is particularly for that whatever let's discover more of its feature so graphql ui by graphql api that is instant declarative role-based access control user-centric administration and platform as a service pass so it works as a pass okay or oh, whatever so they have explained these things again okay this particular point again over here so as you can see 
headless CMS, so control management system, control content management system. Okay, uh, you can easily use it for blogs, website, or like simply yeah. Actually, those are the two scenarios which you, which you will use it uh, rather than ecom. Actually, yeah, ecom is also a good uh, uh, what good uh, example. But I don't know how many person will use it for ecom because. There are ecom specific uh, tools or CMSs that particularly are made for ecoms like Shopify. So I wouldn't I wouldn't uh, suggest to use it as ecom, but you can actually you can easily like uh, connect uh, maintain data over here, connect with Stripe, uh, give that a single Stripe button. So the people will be easily able to uh, make transactions with it. Okay. Now here's the thing: uh, you can use it as backend of your SaaS because it gives you the administration panel and gives you uh, like full eligibility on your uh, front end project. Front end, I would would I say it? actually user user facing pro product. So that is uh, kind of a thing that you can use it for. Then internal tools. So Strapi is also considered as an internal tool. Basically, those all of those things are what internal tools. And in most of the CMSs, you don't have the flexibility to build things. But here, here you have that because you can build the whole UI of the of your administration panel in it, right? So that is a great thing. And obviously, backend of mobile app. So here's the things. Like define data models first, then use it to connect with GraphQL APIs and define management API as well. Management UI, not API, UI. So as you can see, it has management UI. So I just said it like uh, you have the option, like you have the flexibility to create your own UI, though they have all the elements, but obviously you have to build it from scratch. Okay. Now let's get into their uh, uh, yeah docs so that we can understand it uh, properly. So here you can see uh, the architecture of it, how it's working and all. Here is Contember, Contember API uh, connected to SQL database. And here is your custom Microsoft is optional. Uh, the website here is the front website or user, user facing website or mobile app or any other thing so those are the connections now in quick start uh, like oh wait not in quick start okay deeper deeper yes yes self host content bar okay uh so uh to self host content bar you will be needing uh, like you can uh, deploy it in content bar cloud that is also possible that will be totally managed and i should actually show you the pricing of content bar cloud so here is the pricing of Contemporary Cloud, zero for uh, like uh, free projects, and you get the limitations over here. Okay, and fourteen thirty nine dollar uh, forty nine euro, and for professional one forty nine euro. So uh, all of those things are free right now as they are in beta, but it will start charging after it's getting to like its stable launch. Okay. So that's something you should keep in mind. Whatever. Uh, let's come back to uh, deploying self-hosting content board. So first of all, you will be needing a Postgres SQL server anywhere you would like. I always love to host it in uh, for, what railway just to get started with it. Practice uh, like practice uh, all of the things that I need to do or like make migrations and all. Uh, like in the development state, I do all of those changes over there, and after that, like just host it anywhere else, or maybe like uh, keep that all like uh, like keep the schema same, but create another database in the same thing like in the railway as well, and delete the old database. So that is some something I do. Uh, there is a service I use from a uh, railway. You can do that as well. Then you will be needing a. Uh, s3 compatible storage solution object storage so this is something that is a bit tricky uh, 
because <coughs> this will not only require a server actually this this requires a docker engine to run docker image okay and obviously you can buy a docker server or like docker server are they told in a docker engine you can particularly buy a docker engine to host all of this or what you can do you can buy a server and host doc uh, uh, run docker in it and obviously uh, run images in that container and you will need a smtp server though it's optional to send emails then again smtp server is also like you can buy it uh, from others other vendors or you can make it yourself so those are the things that you need to set it up so as i have said before this is totally different from keystone js in keystone js what we did is like making the app into into next js okay so we don't have to create any other uh, instances anywhere else but here you have to okay and this is a more of a traditional approach to be honest like uh, building all of those stacks in uh, maybe uh, and hosting them in docker or something else and connecting your backend to your front end via apis graphql rest apis or graphql and obviously hosting your front end in nextjs and all so and uh, uh, the admin ui like i have to show it to you so you have this thing like uh, you can build your own admin ui from here here you can see like in components we have blog buttons and all all of other things ui components data writing components theming components so yes you can build your own uh what own uh, uh admin panel they have all of the elements but you have to build it yourself because obviously they are uh, this is something uh, is, uh this is something that will be obviously specific to you as you can see it over here they have built uh, the, all of it like they have built all of those things like in the side first and whatever it will be in here they have to build all of those things and then host it here now this is not comparable to sanity at all or any other cmss that we have seen so far not lit by cms not uh what content pool or anything like that this is only comparable to strapi though strapi is way advanced okay i don't know maybe in future it will catch up to strapi let's see what happens but still then you can obviously use it and use use it for your simpler project like most of the time client have simpler really simpler project and uh, a simple uh, interface like this can solve all of the problems so do the rest for like do the needful actually what rest for do the needful and use it let me know if you are liking it or not and rather than that if you know about some of the great open source projects they see and this like this place let me know about all of them in the comment section below so i can feature them in my future video as well as uh use it try it out a bit okay and rather than that if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you like my all videos like like my videos in general please do subscribe to this channel comments down below which of the portions you are liking the most and share with your friends as i need to grow in youtube as well so bye